I don't know, that's a really, really good question. Uh, I think most Americans, we don't like to sort of self-assess. Um, I think there's, a, I think we have a hint of sort of a, an exceptionalism, like, well, you know, my thinking is great to begin with, you know, kind of thing like that. Um, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I, I really don't know. I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure uh, what, what has made me feel more American or, or see more American or think more American. Um, but living and working overseas is quite different than taking a vacation overseas. And I think some people can't, um, uh, can't delineate between the two. They realize like, oh, well, it's not going to be a hotel. It's not going to be room service. It's not going to be a giant buffet breakfast. It's not going to be tour buses everywhere. It's going to be like, congratulations. So how do I set up my internet? You know, it's like, you know, my washer broke. How do I fix that? You know, it's like, what do you mean there's no shopping on Sunday? No one told me that. And so a lot of those sort of things, I think, uh, frustrate a lot of people. But I've been really good at sort of rolling with, you know, as we say you know, colloquially, uh, rolling with the punches. Like, yeah, that, that, that's what happens. I mean, Sunday's a day to sort of, you know, spend with family, to relax, to rest. So, you know, do that. Do that. So do more shopping on Saturday. You know, kind of, kind of things like that. So. Actually, I, I actually experienced the, op the opposite. Mm -hmm. um, I, there are a lot of there are a couple of aspects of German culture that I really, really connect with um, um, that are a little, yeah, one time, oh, that was bad. Um, one time um, I was explaining to an American friend of mine why a German friend of hers that she knew longer than she knew me might not label her as his friend because um, the friendship, or at least the way that I had understood it, I'm not going to say that it's for every German, um, but friendship is a thing that develops more over time here, from what I've understood, and um, and that was also how I, I grew up. Um, my mom said, my mom is, whoa, my mom is 62, I think, um, and she said, I have three or four good friends, and I call them friends because they've been my friend my whole life. Um, and that's my definition of friendship, having a few, but really stable and long-lasting friendships. Um, and she was pretty heartbroken because she had grown up in the, um, not, she'd grown up on the other side of the culture in America where um, friendships are, we have good chemistry, we can talk and chat about whatever, and we've met each other a couple of times, and now, like, we're friends. Um, that was pretty stressful for me because I felt like, she had known this 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 man. They were this was uh, they were they were two students at the university. Um, she had known him, I think, for a couple of years, and yeah, it, it was pretty it was pretty intense for me to realize that I identified so strongly with this um, aspect of the culture that I could explain it to her. I don't think I've ever really felt like I've stuck out like a sore thumb for being an American or. Yeah, no. The eating out uh, at a restaurant is the first time where you notice just like you need to calm down like crazy American just calm down like they're gonna come bring the check everything's fine but it's you know like I said 33 years in the making where get in get out get in get out get in get out and so I think we should probably like all of us Americans that come here just need to take a deep breath sometimes and just so I'll be completely different about that when I get back to the US and if any of those servers back there try to rush me I'm gonna tell them I'm taking my time here still I'm finishing my coffee or whatever um, so but that's one that I still notice um, about myself like I still want sort of that I guess like American style pace of everything instant instant when when we want it you know, I've been to the Oktoberfest so in, in Munich, and you kind of can see, like, this is definitely a crowd of Americans over here. You can just kind of tell. And so I think maybe being a little bit more aware of, of surroundings and, and perceptions um, may be something that we could do better or that I've learned or noticed. Yeah, those, those are probably the, the main ones. Okay. I'm sure you've seen them, too. <laughs> I think the smiling 
<laughs> sort of automatically gives me away as maybe American. <laughs> um, and it's hard to stop that in myself. Um, but no, I think that, you know, when I at a restaurant or um, out and about and someone asks where I'm from um, and I say America, the first thing they want to talk about is politics. Um, so I feel like I have to be more up on the news um, here living in Germany, uh, American news more so than I did back home. I think, I mean, sadly enough, I feel like I miss some of the uh, conveniences that America has, and I don't like that aspect of, of feeling that way. Um, you know, waiting for a bus or a train in the rain is not something that I had to do for the past 10 years because I could just get in my car. Um, and uh, sometimes I get a little grumpy about um, having to carry groceries half a mile to my apartment <laughs> um, and things like that. But um, those are things that I think I could probably do with changing, so <laughs> I've maybe learned a lot of bad things about myself living here. <laughs> but I like maybe I like to be a little bit more lazy than I would like to admit. <laughs>